film for quite a while because what often happens is I'm looking after the kids and Ollie comes on his own at the weekend to do the filming. So um, I'm back and so I'm going to walk you around, although there's not an awful lot to update you with from when Ollie last did it. So we're probably just going to stay really in the kitchen. Um, I think when Ollie last did the update, this potentially wasn't here or wasn't quite finished or something. So this is obviously the breakfast bar, um, like rather than us having a dining table, we've got this breakfast bar here. So it's quite long, I think it's 2.4 meters long. So we should be able to fit at least four, possibly five seats along here. Um, and it's got, obviously a, there's a cupboard here. And then underneath, there's like three sort of short half depth, they're actually wall units, but um, there's these cupboards under here. Um, so these are obviously gonna be for things that are not accessed all the time because obviously there's going to be bar stores here so it'd be a bit of a pain in the bum but for like extra storage or things that tenants don't use all that often there's a little bit extra storage under there rather than it just being all open um and yes they've put again i don't know what one he's updated you so obviously all the worktops are on i don't know if he showed you this bit before but this was um the the builder and i had to have a conversation about this because obviously as you can see the wall and the window comes out it's sort of like not as deep as the worktops so we've had to do this um i think it looks all right you know at the end of the day it wasn't it wouldn't be worth moving the windows and changing the window and all that kind of stuff so um minor issue but obviously these little things do crop up and you've got to come up with some sort of um solution to it um so yeah there's still a little bit more to do in here we actually it's, it's sunday today we actually were here and the plumber was here just doing a quick check of things. So I think they are, um, I think the next thing they're doing is putting in towel rails and radiators and obviously they'll then finish the central heating system. Um, I think, they haven't actually done, so they haven't done the hot water tank, so I would have expected that would have been done by now, um, but perhaps I'm wrong with that coming in, because obviously that's part of the central heating. And I think you sat water. there, is that it there? Yeah, yeah. It so that's going to go in here so i don't know whether they haven't put it in yet because as you can see everything's been whitewashed so the decorators are in so it might be that they are going to whitewash in here i know that the um builder was saying to me that he wanted to get behind the radiators all painted um before then the plumbers come in and do all of that so i think it's a bit kind of chicken and egg who's coming in first because i know in our other project the builder was saying that having the decorators and the plumbers alongside was like causing them a bit of a headache so I don't know if he's changing what they're doing here. So I need to check with him what, what what's actually going on. Um, so yeah, obviously the, the big tank will go there and the washing machine and tumble dryer will go here. So it's looking a bit mucky in here at the moment. Um, so, but yeah, all the appliances are in. So I think, if I'm right, this is a fridge. This is a fridge. With obviously the freezer underneath. But, have to get Ollie to do that in a minute, I can't reach. Um, obviously the oven, so we've got a double oven here, and we've got a single oven behind Ollie um, there, and we've got two hobs, so under here will be a hob, ta-da, and under here, obviously it's underneath this bit, there'll be another hob. The reason why, again, I don't know if I've said this in a blog already, but the reason why there's two hobs and, in, in essence, three ovens, um, is because we are hoping that next door will be, become a, a separate dwelling. But in the event that that doesn't become a separate dwelling, we will still extend and create a bigger HMO. So at the moment, this is six, six people HMO. We will create another two bedrooms and they will somehow access come, and come in here. So it was likely that we we're going to sort of build across and that would be a door so that those bedrooms could come and access this room. So in the event that it is that, we've already pre-planned that there'd be enough amenities for eight people hence why there's double of everything. And there is actually, I think this is actually space for another fridge freezer, I can't open it because obviously it's all taped. But this, if we did need to, was gonna have another fridge freezer. At the moment it's a larder, um, but obviously it could change if we needed it to. But other appliances like the oven, it's worth putting those in, you know, and tenants can use them and like them um, as it is. Um, other than that, I think what he showed you outside, outside has been done, and obviously you just need to put grass down. Everything's just been whitewashed, so... It's worth showing the tree. Oh yeah, we can show you the 
true. So. I think showers are in, but I mean, shower's a shower, isn't it? It's worth um, showing. Yeah, sh let's show one of the showers. It's a bit like a ghost, but get the showers are in. Just a standard shower that we normally uh, put in. Yeah. It's the uh, been in for a while. And the taps. It was in last time, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, might as well just show the train, and that's it. Yeah. So the guy needs to come back and remove some of these bits and then take that stump out. Um, but yeah, it, it suddenly opens up the whole site. So the plan is, obviously, that that section over there will become a new property. And the reason we have to get this out is, as you can see, it was so close to what would be the boundary wall. It's going to really interfere. And you can actually see along here. the damage that the tree was already doing. You can see that diagonal line that was actually damaged from the tree so we had to get rid of it. Um, we'll, we'll move back this way because it's a bit loud next to the main road. So yeah we had to get rid of it to be able to do anything with that side. So that's the, the first bit and then hopefully this will then become a new development. So I think that's everything to update you from here, from Arding Lai this week. Um, do you think of anything else? That's no? it. Cool, all right, well that's it. And I um, hope you've enjoyed watching this, this week's update and we'll see you next time. See you later, bye.